Now let's look at the network types and network topology. So if we want to divide network into several different category, actually one important classification is to divide according to the coverage. According to the geographical coverage, we can divide the network into the local area network, which is small, the metropolitan area network, which is in the area of city, and then the wide area network, which may be very large. So for local area network, typically they only cover uh, several thousand square meters. And usually our company's office network, the bar network, the home network are all uh, local area networks. Then a network which is bigger, larger than the local area network is the metropolitan area network. Typically it will cover a city. They include the broadband metropolitan area networks. They can provide the provisional uh, access. The wide area network actually covers a very large area. They can range from tens of thousands kilometers. Okay. And for example, internet is a very typical wide area network. They connect it all over the world, right? So these are a typical land, man, when in the education industry. So for example, if you want to construct a network in education industry, first you need to construct the network for every primary school, middle school, or the university. So in these schools or university, that is a typical local area network, right? We use uh, switches, routers to connect to all the end devices. And then when we form a local area network, actually they need to connect it with each other to form a man, the metropolitan area network. And then we connect multiple metropolitan area networks together to form the wide area network. Right? So these routers are the core routers for man and these routers are the core routers for the wide area network. So then finally, we form this uh, education industry network.